Learning biomechanics has given me a lot of hope. And I'd like to describe what I mean by that. And even it's starting to rain a little bit. Uh oh. Hope the screen doesn't get wet. Um, I'm kind of walking in the trees, so I'm sheltered. But it is raining. So I'll start with a story about a client of mine that this was a few years ago. He sees me regularly and he's in his 70s. So as you can imagine, his body has accumulated a lot of patterns, stiffness. And the good thing is he doesn't have a lot of actual acute pain or chronic problems even other than some aches and pains here or there, but nothing debilitating. And me, I'm here trying to invite him to become more aware of his body and help him to learn how his body moves so he can optimize things. And he's just not interested. Like, literally, I know he's in his 70s, so he does have some real hearing loss. <laughs> but his hearing loss seems to become more and more real whenever I try to talk to him about his body. I find it fascinating. One day it turned into a very heated discussion. I won't call it an argument, but I'll call it a very heated discussion around why should he even care about being aware of his body. Because I was here trying to tell him what he should do. You should care more about your ability to feel parts of your body stretching. You should be more aware of chronic patterns and habitual postures. You should, you should, you should, you should care about this thing that I care about. And then he, <laughs> he comes back with this question, like, why should I? I'm not interested in, to quote his exact words, going on your adventure into awareness. And that kind of shocked me because I guess I'm naive and I was operating under the assumption that if he was enjoying working with me, then he must share the same values that I do. He must share the value that becoming more aware of your body is something that will greatly serve you in this life. And it's important. But actually, he, comes out, he comes out and says that I don't care about this. Why should I? And I was like, oh my god. Maybe he shouldn't. Maybe this is my thing. I care about body awareness. I care about learning about how my body moves and discovering the things it can't do. And I derive a great deal of joy from going through that process, but maybe that's not for him. And that was a, a pretty big aha moment. So it was kind of interesting to have that conversation with him. So fast forward to present day. Here is my spiel on why being aware of my body and having studied biomechanics gives me a lot of hope in the situation I'm having with my foot, which by the way, I am walking. And it feels pretty good today. But it doesn't feel awesome. And what is giving me hope is that I can feel my biomechanics changing. How I'm walking is showing me whether I'm moving forwards because my foot pain is not changing quickly. It's taking its sweet time. I would say that I'm about 65% better in terms of the painful sensation in my foot. I got a ways to go still. So it's been a slow six months of marginal improvements. And all I can really say when people ask me how it's going is it's a little better every day. And it really is. But what's interesting to me is what's changing first, before I notice a reduction in symptoms, is that 
my movement mechanics are changing. And that is the thing that gives me hope. That's my signpost that I'm on the right track. So just to give a practical example of this, in the beginning, six months ago, my right leg was completely internally rotating when I was walking. My toes were like literally pointing inwards, which was never a thing before. And it also felt like I couldn't properly swing my leg forward, like I didn't have any power in my hip flexors. And those were the two first things mechanically that I noticed. And so I just watched those. And as I explored different movement inputs, I observed that if I was on the right track, my mechanics could change. My leg was less internally rotated and I had a bit more oomph in my swing. But the pain was the same. That's the thing, is that the, the degree of discomfort didn't go down right away, but I saw an immediate change in my biomechanics and I just had to trust that I was on the right track. And I think that's the important thing when you have a kind of pain that's kind of always there. There's no, there's no thing that instantly relieves it. For me, I could lie down and it would feel better because I wasn't standing on it, but that's not really the true indicator of how it's going. So a lot of people, they do have these kinds of pains where there isn't really a relief with exercise. But here's what I think is important is during the exercises I was playing with, my foot felt good. And after, my movement was different. Even though my pain stayed the same. During the exercise, my foot felt good. As in, I couldn't actually feel any discomfort. And almost like a warm flow of blood or something was coming into my foot. And then after, my movement mechanics were different. Not different for very long, like they'd feel different for 10 steps and then they'd start to go back. But that was the glimmer of hope I held on to. And so if I wasn't aware of how a body is built to move at its most efficient, let's say I hadn't been studying anatomy and motion for the past six or seven years, I would have no idea what changes I could interpret as better. All I'd have to go on was kind of blind faith. So hope in biomechanics is completely different than blind faith. Hope in biomechanics is built on a real logical process of experimentation, investigation, and then seeing if things change at the end in terms of the objective movement because we can get very sucked into the feeling of the sensation. We can get very hyper aware of the pain. And what I think is so empowering is having something to focus on that isn't related to the pain, but that signposts progress. And that thing for me is the objective mechanics. And as an individual, if you know what those objective mechanics are, and if you're moving closer to them, then there's a lot of hope in that. That's all that I wanted to say today. So to my client who was like, why should I care about my body? Well, because if you ever get into a situation like me where you need a little bit of hope that you're getting better when it's getting a little bit uh, questionable, then body awareness really is that that guiding light for me all right that's all I have to say love your body